Visual arts are art forms that involve making objects mainly perceived by the eyes, such as painting, sculpture, architecture, and cinematography. The term also covers some forms of applied arts, such as industrial designs, fashion, and interior decoration. Visual arts appeared early as drawings by primitive humans in caves. The arts have developed for thousands of years to become immensely diverse and ubiquitous in the modern day. Visual arts products are present in every aspect of life, directly influencing the aesthetic of every individual. Thanks to the rapid growth of printing, journalism, television and internet technologies, the public have increasingly comfortable access to visual art products. Visual arts-related professions are blossoming and playing a progressively important role in the present social and economic lives in countries around the world, including Vietnam. In Vietnam, visual arts exchange and exhibition events with the participation of domestic and foreign artists have been rising. The events provide opportunities for local artists to approach the latest trends of contemporary visual art and to share the creative works with distinctive Vietnamese features with the world. Hello and welcome to Sharing Vietnam. Visual arts have been developing rapidly in Vietnam and around the world, especially with the advancement of modern technologies. In our program today, we will explore the internationalization of Vietnamese visual arts with Nathalie Contenay, an acclaimed French visual artist. So hello Nathalie, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, first of all, could you tell us a little bit on your passion and your works of visual arts? Well, I'm passionate by life in general and by, by people, and therefore I'm very interested in anthropology, uh, ethnology, history, uh, and uh, I'm very interested in the object pro that this uh, human beings are producing uh, as a reflect of uh, the society, and so uh, I'm very interested in, in uh, um, traditional objects in. Uh, art and traditional object, yes. And so uh, that's how I started my work as a photograph or a sculpture photographer uh, because I was working into a, a museum of anthropology. By the time I was really making shapes and sculptures. And then I, tr I started by the time to, to collect images of the, of the objects I was uh, taking care of. And uh, then I, run, I wanted to, 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 to restore those objects, and that's why I, I made some, some sculptures out of the photography. So the photography begins uh, to be my matter. Well, Natalie, uh, what do you think of the evolution of visual arts in the modern world? Well, I have a theory, but I have to check it now. But I think it's very important because uh, like in France, in Europe, in, uh, and maybe also in Vietnam. But uh, there's so, I think there's a sort of reaction because there's this uh, universe, new universe, uh, 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 non-material universe, uh, internet universe that grows. I think we, we pass, for, for my, as I'm concerned, it's part-time in, in the real life and part-time in the, we are all Googling, uh, looking for things. So we have two lives now, three, because we dream also. So we don't know anymore which is which sometimes. And so I think the evolution is that a lot of artists have ma are making more and more uh, sculptures, real sculptures, installation. They try to, to, to occupy the space again and to prove that reality is reality and not vir virtuality. So I think there is a movement, actually, uh, this is my, my hypothesis, uh, there's movement of uh, re, uh, uh, rematerialization of the world, of images also. What are the reasons for you to come and join the 2016 month of uh, arts practice in Vietnam? It's been a long time I wanted to, to, to come in Vietnam and uh, I was invited so it was fantastic for me. As for an artist, uh, you know, if you have a little 
success, you have a success with a certain type of, of, of work. So finally, little by little, you drop the experimental uh, thing and the research. So this is very important for an artist. So coming here is the opportunity for me to to make sort of, uh, as we say in French, uh, faire le point on what I'm, I'm doing, and, and it's sort of a shock, uh, just a réveil. I'm going to wake up, it's, and uh, it's eventually that's what's happening. So uh, I meet new people, everything is new, and it's very, very rich for me. A practice workshop between Natalie Contenay and young Vietnamese people took place on October the 9th in Hanoi. With Natalie's facilitation, the young participants created personal posters directly inspired by classic French movies. By filming and putting photos together, the players could become the main characters in their own products. During the workshop, Natalie Contenay encouraged the participants to freely create and get away from conventional ways. The French artists will complete the post-production stage, insert the photos of the players and display the posters in an exhibition of Heritage Space Gallery. Đối với em thì em biết đến workshop này khá là tình cờ thông qua lời mời của bạn em ở trên Facebook thôi Nhưng khi đến đây em rất là ngạc nhiên với độ cởi mở của cô Natalie Và cô hướng dẫn rất, rất là tận tình và để tạo bọn em tạo điều kiện cho bọn em được thỏa sức sáng tạo Làm là những cái poster của riêng mình rất là thú vị Đây là điều em rất là thích về buổi workshop ngày hôm nay ạ The workshop between Natalie Contenay and young Vietnamese people was one of various events during the Heritage Space Month of Arts practice. This is an annual arts creation and education project implemented by Heritage Space, a newly established complex specialized in organizing community-oriented arts events in Hanoi. The project was initiated by Trần Trọng Vũ, a Vietnamese visual artist who spent many years living and working in France. The 2016 Month of Arts practice is aimed to provide a space for creation, experiment and exchange between Vietnamese and international artists in six weeks from September the 17th to October the 31st. Along with creation activities, the organizers also hold various events such as exhibitions, talks with the public, roundtable dialogues, field trips for research and exchange around Hanoi. This is considered a significant stepping stone for the talents of Vietnamese visual arts to grow. Khoảng thời gian 5 năm trở lại đây, tôi nghĩ là khoảng 10 năm thì một cái hệ nghệ sĩ mới xuất hiện và họ có nền tảng ngoại ngữ tốt, họ khả năng làm việc rất là tốt trên uh, Internet, họ thấu hiểu Internet, họ từ thông qua Internet và năng lực ngoại ngữ và và cái sự cởi mở trong trong sáng tạo thì họ tự họ đã bắt nhịp được với với thế giới rất là nhanh thông qua các cái chuyến đi du học, các cái chuyến đi làm việc ở dạng lưu trú hay tự họ tham gia vào cái những cái chương trình trao đổi ở nước ngoài hoặc là họ cũng được thế giới biết đến và được mời thông qua các cái triển lãm hay biên lê quan trọng. Thế thì cái cái sự giao thoa như vậy nó vô cùng tích cực và nó diễn ra đúng nghĩa từ hai phía là cả ở trong nước và cả ở nước ngoài. Thế thì trong một cái giao diện như vậy thì cái 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 tư duy và những cái nhận thức và thực hành nghệ thuật tự giác của Việt Nam cũng phát triển rất là nhanh. At the 2016 Month of Arts practice, the artists focus on visualizing their perceptions of limitedness and infinity. They seek to change flat surfaces, limited spaces and specific images to eliminate boundaries. The public are allowed to interact with the artists and even take part in creation activities to transcend the limits in their daily lives and explore the infinity of the universe and life. 
The works created by the artist during the month will be showcased in a grand exhibition at Heritage Space Gallery and the public space at Royal City Urban Area in Hanoi until the end of 2016. Well, you have just organized a workshop on creative visual arts, so could you share with us uh, some information on the purpose of this event? I think that movie, cinema, everybody likes it. Everybody thinks he's a hero in his dreams sometimes. And so uh, it's a way of uh, appropriation, uh, of identification. So the, the idea is to create it, its own poster, cinema poster. And so uh, I, I, the, out of, uh, I, I took a mostly classical French mm -hmm. film with different way of uh, putting characters uh, and typical characters also, yes. And way of the uh, 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 construction of the image. Uh, it can be photography, it can be painting, drawing, etc. It's very rich in general, so. And uh, so they can create by uh, cutting out, etc., their own uh, project. How do you describe the response from Vietnamese people towards creative visual arts uh, during your workshop? It really worked out. Well, as usual, children, too sweet, and they rush and they have many ideas now. And this is the, the thing, funny thing, that at the beginning, oh, I don't have any idea when you're an adult, and you have to, to open again this childhood you got in yourself. Well, in general, what do you think of the internationalization of Vietnamese visual arts? I think what's very important, because you say interna internationalization, when you say internationalization, it's like something that comes above it. In fact, what I've noticed here and, and, and what uh, makes me happy is that it's not that. It's, uh, it, it doesn't come above, it comes from. So I see people opening to the world, but with their uh, distinguity, their uh, difference, their particularities, and this is very in important and interesting. You know, it's not like something uh, covering, it's, it's uh, an exchange and really it's very rich. And do you plan to come back to Vietnam to further interact with the local artists and to produce more artworks here? For the moment it's the beginning, you know, so I don't know, but I know I've found here something I was looking for a long time. So uh, I have to be, I have to come back and I have to, to, to work with uh, what I found here, I didn't find uh, any, any words. This story of a half, what I call a demi-ton, half-ton, it means like in, in, in general, in the, the music, I know, it's a do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do, and do, re. In between here, you've got different notes, other notes. So there's, it's very much richer, and like, it really was, uh, uh, strange for me, those colors you have. You, you just uh, look, uh, you, if I take a picture of a, a, a little bit of, of, of a corner of a street, I can find a, a thousand uh, of colors I don't find in my country, you know? And so I'm gonna make a work about this, you know? Because you have colors that we don't use, because we have standardized uh, colors. We could think that in Vietnam it is, it's standardized, but it's totally different. It's the contrary. Natalie, thank you so much for spending your time with us today and sharing some very exciting information. Thank you. Well, that's all for our sharing Vietnam today. Hopefully, more and more Vietnamese visual artists will have opportunities to interact and share their creative works with the world. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next time.